Hello YouTube. Um, so last week I was out, out about looking for things, and I found this on one of the neighbor's curbs. So it's a Pioneer surround sound speaker system. It's I don't know what the 200 some watts. Let's see what it says. Yeah, 200 watts, 260 VA transformer inside. So I couldn't wait to get it because I actually wanted to use this thing, but. When I open it up, as you can see there, it had a little bit of a burnout. Everything looks okay on it, but it smells terrible. I plugged it in and it didn't turn on. Well, it turned on for a second and turned right back off. So I just decided to salvage the nice, beautiful components that still work from it. I got this transformer right here, 260 VA. I rewound it, of course, so it looks like that, and I added a switch. So right now I'm using it for my audio amp. I'm not sure how many volts this puts out because this voltmeter is fried because I tried to measure the current on my ZVS. I didn't even, I didn't try to measure the voltage, it was the current. So weird. <laughs> so other than the transformer, I also got these really nice capacitors right here. 50 volts, 6,800 microfarads. It's perfect for this circuit. And now since I have 50 volt caps instead of 35s, I can get all the way up to 40 until I modify my ZVS for, you know, more power. So I'm gonna show you guys that, 40 volts. First I'll do 35, then I'll do 30, no. First I'll do 30, then I'll do 40. All right, here she is on 30. And now we'll get ready for 40. And this is 40. Very big. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Alright, now back to the other transformer. First whenever I cut out the secondary, I rewound it with this nice thick 4 gauge wire. Got about 100 amps out of it. It's fun melting stuff. Um, think of anything else I can show. Oh, just American standard electricity, maybe. For those of you who don't know, we have our neutral right here. Here's where 120 volts comes in, and this is the ground for special appliances. So, uh, I, don't, I think that's about it, guys. Uh, see you until next time.